My name is Ben, I'm a mission designer on Fable 3. Fable uh, is about the Kingdom of Albion, uh, and this is the sequel to Fable 2, where you had a character who at the end of the game was very powerful, and he became the King of Albion. In Fable 3, this is 50 years on, and you play the son or the daughter, because you can be a man or a woman, of your character in Fable 2. Uh, and you are the younger son, so your older brother is now the king. And, uh, little spoilers, but soon early in the game you discover that your brother is not a nice man. And that you leave the castle and you start to lead a rebellion to overthrow your brother. And as you go through the game, you meet allies who you make promises to. Uh, and they join you in your fight, and if, when, you become the king or queen, uh, they come back to you and they say, well, you promised me all these things, where are they? Then you have the extra challenge of ruling your kingdom as king or queen. So as you go through the game, you meet like leaders of important groups of people, and they'll say, well, I want uh, my land back. You know, your brother has taken away our land, please give it back to me. And so you, can, you make that promise to him, okay, I'll, I'll give you your land back when I'm king. But when you become king, maybe you don't want to give him the land back and you could break that promise. But you will make people unhappy if you don't keep the promises. Well, making the promise means they follow you, but when you're the king and you make the decision, that's when it influences the world. So we don't want to do too many spoilers because ruling, uh, the ruling part when you're king will, we think, will have lots of impact in the story. So you don't want to talk too much about it. But yes, the things you do as king will really shape the land. So if you come into my world and I've been a different kind of king to you, uh, then you may see some a very different land. In Fable 2, you had uh, lots of stat points you had to allocate, and you know, there was lots of different types of experience. We've really streamlined that for Fable 3. So there are followers now rather than experience points. So you get the, the big promises, but you also gather like follower numbers. So the cool thing about that is, uh, like in Fable 2, you only got experience points for fighting things, but you can get followers, you, you impress people with good fighting, but you could also do it by interacting with them, or making friends with them, or, or threatening them, or doing all sorts of other cool things. So as you gain followers, you get more powerful. And you can, uh, we have this thing called the Road to Rule, which is like a journey to the castle. And as you get more followers, you unlock doors on the Road to Rule and you can go closer to the castle. Uh, and as you do that, you can spend on new abilities. You can say, well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit of fighting, but also I wanna do lots more uh, silly expressions with people. So you can, you can choose like that. There's lots of different abilities there. Does it mean it's possible to beat the game without fighting? Uh, that you will have to do a bit of fighting. We've got some really big improvements. This is one of the big things in Fable 3. So in Fable 2, you could jump into someone else's world, but you're always like a, a just one of a, a random hero. In Fable 3, you take your own hero. So your own clothes, your own appearance, your own morphs, or your stats, or your weapons. You even take your own dog into their world. Um, and when you're there, you earn experience, well, you earn followers, you can earn money, and it's really well paid helping someone out in their world. And the other really big, cool improvement is, in Fable 2, you had to stay close together. In Fable 3, you have separate screens over Xbox Live. So if I'm, uh, I could be in one side of the map killing some monsters, you could be over the other side in the town uh, kissing some villagers, you know, or doing a job, playing, playing the loop for someone. Over Xbox Live, you can marry people. You can have a business partnership if you thought, well, okay, we can buy houses together, run some businesses, or you can marry them if you really trust them. Uh, and then you can have children together. If you split up, you know, your money is divided between you, so you know, you've got, really got to trust someone if you want to marry them. Fable 3 is AAA, coming out October 29th. Uh, get it, it's going to be great. Big improvement on Fable 2. Uh, on Xbox 360, uh, there's a PC version. It's not on October the 29th, but it will be coming. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? <laughs>